This might be the most useful tool to level up your presentations, whether you do Zoom meetings to present to a board, or if you're a teacher or coach wanting to make your workshops, programs, or courses more engaging for your students. Let me show you exactly what this is in this video. All right, so what exactly am I talking about? Well, if you take a look at my screen, more specifically my mouse cursor, when I move it, it's got this round yellow halo effect around it. So this way you can use this to draw attention to a specific feature, an icon or whatever it is on your screen and so that your viewers can focus on that rather than somewhere else. In addition to that, you can draw and annotate on your screen on any app. For example, I've got this presentation slide. Let's say you wanna draw a circle around a particular section. We can use that shortcut key of a circle and I'll show you more in detail in this video. Or you can use an arrow to point at different things such as this right here. Now, you can also freely draw using the pen tool. So you can see what I'm doing right here and I can put an arrow if I wanna just draw it manually. On top of all that, what you can do is also zoom. So let's say you wanna zoom in on something important like this little cartoon character, or you can spotlight a particular area. For example, this area right here. Okay, enough explaining. This is a tool that can do all this. It's called ProMouse. It's a Mac only app and you purchase it one time for just $3.99. Windows users, there is an alternate. I did some research and there's a tool called Epic Pen. It's compatible on Windows and Mac. It doesn't exactly do what ProMouse does, but very similar in terms of pen and highlighting. It's got some of these other features here with shapes and text. Epic Pen is free on its basic option. However, you can upgrade to Pro so that you can have all these tools right here. But let's go back to ProMouse. If you've decided to purchase ProMouse, install it, and then you'll see it at the top bar right here, right? And if you click once, you can click on Open ProMouse Preferences. This is where you wanna begin and customize ProMouse. Once you've opened up the preferences, you'll see settings, shortcuts, mouse halo, zoom, spotlight, and drawing. So going through some of these features, ProMouse enables you to use a mouse halo which I showed you, and this, this yellow halo around it. We've also got zoom, uh, spotlight effect, and drawing. The first thing you can change is the halo color. If you do not want yellow, you can choose one of the other colors from the palette. Otherwise, you can go with that. You can also change the size of the halo, let's say bigger, and you can see that is now bigger, but I like to stick somewhere around the middle. And we've also got halo border thickness. You can change the thickness of it, uh, as you can see, but the middle's good, so that way you can see that actual border around it. All right, halo border style, you can choose solid or dashed. So play around with those settings. Feel free to do it based on your preference. Now, zoom, this is where you can change the amount of zoom when you actually are using this feature. So let's say bigger. And now when I enable zoom, you can see that it's quite zoomed in. So if you do not want it that much, then you can reduce the amount, let's say here, and this is what it looks like. So somewhere in the middle works great. You can also change the zoom quality between zoom or nominal. Next, you've got spotlight. If you enable spotlight, this is what it looks like, just to remind you. And you can change the things like spotlight color, the size and opacity. So if you want the opacity to be darker, so that way it, covers more of the background, then you can do so. But if you do wanna show uh, you know, that background there, that's fine. And if you go into drawing, you can change the color of your pen and also the line thickness and also clear drawings function, clear all drawings, or you can remove uh, the last drawing or the last thing that you drew on your screen. Uh, this will all make sense once you start using it. Now, the next thing is shortcuts. I highly recommend you set some custom shortcuts. That way it's custom to you and you can go directly and use those tools right away. ProMouse will have some default shortcuts and things like with these exclamation marks, these haven't been set yet. And the draw circle shortcut, draw arrow shortcut, these by default don't have any shortcuts. So you can set your own custom shortcuts. If you take a look at my shortcuts, this is the set that I use. Feel free to use it if you want but it all depends on your setup, I guess. With my keyboard, you know, I like to keep my hand on the kind of left corner, right? And so I wanna make sure I have everything on that section. So C represents circle, A represents arrow. All I need to do is hit the shift key 
plus that combination key. For zooming in, I've set Shift Z as my shortcut keys. Spotlight is just the control key like this. And for freehand drawing, it's just the option key like so. And an important one is clearing the drawing. So if you want to clear what you draw, let's say I've drawn all this, I want to clear it, take it out of the screen. I just press the command key right here. As you can see, it's all gone. At the top, you'll see active shortcut set. This allows you to set custom shortcut keys for a particular specific app that you open up. Let's say you're on Zoom and you open up a Zoom app. You want a set of shortcut keys specifically for that app. You can set it here, manage shortcut sets and add a new shortcut set right here and then set your shortcut keys based on your Zoom app. All right, so whatever you want. In my case, I've got a specific one when I'm using Chrome and just the default one. You can enable or disable certain functions of ProMouse by simply going to the ProMouse menu, go to toggle functions, and then enabling or disabling any of these options. Let's say you do not want mouse halo. You can disable it and now it's gone. All right, now that you're familiar with what ProMouse is, you've set some shortcut keys, let's go and use this in a practical scenario. So let's say you wanna share a screen tutorial. In my case, I've got Canva open. You can go and speak as you normally would, but let's say you want to zoom in on something and show them what you are talking about. In this case, we've got elements. I want to zoom in on it. So I'll hit the shift Z keys and that way your viewers know what you're clicking on and they don't need to squint or kind of zoom in on what you're actually uh, sharing. So you run through your presentation, you zoom in on things such as this or this. You can also go ahead and use the spotlight effect. I've set my control key to use that spotlight function as you can see. And I can start drawing by holding the option key and point out anything I want. Let's say this specific area right here so they know exactly what I'm talking about. If you want to keep things cleaner, of course, there's the circle and arrow shortcuts. Let's start with the circle, which for me was the shift C options of the shortcut keys that is. So circle somewhere here and there, and let's clean that all up by clearing it using the command key. And now let's use the arrow shortcut, which was shift A for me. So right there. Now it may not stand out in some scenarios. That's where you can go in and change the actual color of your arrows or circle. Now, of course, you can annotate outside of the active app that you're using. For instance, my browser's here and on the right of it, I've got some space allowing me to freely draw. In my case, I've got the option key set as the freehand drawing. Otherwise, I can write some notes, let's say somewhere here where I'm sharing a, a tip or a note. That way they can refer back to it or you can draw some diagrams like so really bad one <laughs> in my case right here, right? Kind of like a target, but you get the gist of it and how you can utilize ProMouse to improve your communication, explain what you're trying to say clearly and make it easy for you to give feedback. So give ProMouse a try. It's what I use whenever I record my screen tutorials. That way you can see what I'm hovering over or clicking on. Windows users, once again, you can use Epic Pen, which does a similar job. But otherwise, hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up. In the meantime, do stick around to watch these next relevant videos.